Hi, I'm John Fitzgerald and welcome to Team Wealth Builders. Today's session is the problem with the next best thing. <laughs> Everyone wants to find the next best thing. But my mentor on this is the well-known Warren Buffett. And why is he my mentor on it? Because I study what he says about the next best thing. And the classic was the internet boom and the whole computer boom. And the reason why he didn't invest in the internet boom was he looked back 100 years when there was the whole motor vehicle boom, and his observation was 100 years ago, there were 2,000 manufacturers of some type of automobile, and today there are only three. And he wasn't able to pick which ones would survive and which ones wouldn't. And it's exactly the same when it comes to real estate. When I look at the problem with the next best thing, I look at fundamentally, is it flawed or is it accepted? Two big things that come up when people talk about the next best thing in property. Number one is buying property in USA. And number two is buying property, cash flow positive property in the mining booms in Australia. Mining areas in Australia that are booming. They both have a fundamental flaw. What is that fundamental flaw? Well, it comes down to what drives property and it's only one thing, population and population growth. If you study population growth in America, you'll see it's running at 1% to 1.1%. Now that's a flat line on population and already they're building nearly 700,000 new homes a year. That's significant because you're gonna see that demand is not going to be outweighed by supply. In the mining booms, it's even more catastrophic because what people don't realize about today's mining boom is we're in the construction phase. And in the construction phase, we'll have nearly three to five times the amount of workers and population than we need for the production phase. And this is the major catalyst I've seen in places like Gladstone and all over previously in other mining booms where they have this major construction impetus and then we go down to production and there's a dramatic oversupply of housing that can send you broke. And we're talking about this con construction phase maybe only lasting two or three years so that by 2014, 2015, we'll be into full production needing only one third, maybe one quarter of the amount of workers that are in the construction phase. It's not about the next best thing. Success is just repetition, but let's look at the basics of where we're gonna be able to repeat it and repeat it, and we have the fundamentals in place for five, 10, 15, 20 years. And that's where I invest, and that's where I encourage you to look and invest and take that longer term view. Thank you for listening to me.